Hello all you beautiful people out there, what is going on? This is your friend Brittic coming at you fast with a quick tutorial guide on the completion system or the collection system in Destiny that is introduced in the Taken King or Year 2 in general. So first off, we're going to be looking at the emblems and the shaders near that one person who sells the emblems and the shaders in the corner next to Numarki, I forget her name. But as you can see, there are some new emblems that you can see that will be available in the Taken King. So what is this collection system, you may ask? Basically, when you earn an emblem, or when you buy an emblem of sorts, when you get it into your inventory, you quote-unquote collect it, and it becomes archived in this system. It becomes archived in this database, and you are able to forever hold on to that memory. You are able to forever keep it on lock, keep track of it. And even if you dismantle something, you will still be able to keep it in this collection and then get it later, whether you have to buy it with Glimmer, maybe an exotic shard like you do with these exotic weapons, or some other stuff. Now the exotic weapons and armors can be found in the Vanguard room as you saw me roll on into, and as you can see there are some confirmed year 2 exotics that used to be year 1 still are year one, but they are going to be stronger than before because Bungie thought that, you know, they were pretty cool and they weren't too overpowered, so they'll keep them in there. And as you can see, mostly all of my exotics are filled in. Now, I did have the Suros regime in the past and I did have the Pocket Infinity in the past, but I decided to dismantle them and I don't think... Uh, I think I dismantled them such a long time ago that the game didn't register that I had them. Uh, it is a little bit glitchy still because they're probably working out the kinks, but that's pretty much it. My collection, as you can see, is pretty much complete when it comes to the weapons. And you're going to see the same thing with the armors uh, that I have for my hunter that um, some are, you know, highlighted and some aren't because those I actually got the completion. They actually tell you how to get them when you mouse over them. This one says requires discovery. Everybody knows how you get exotics, but like some emblems, for example, or some ships that we will see later on, you have to do specific things. So that's about it. That's all the collection system is. Here is actually a kiosk for the quests that you already did pretty much and these are like your story missions for example I already collected them all they're already in my inventory and these are pretty much the story missions the fall of Kuroda you know against the hide the, the dark below all that kind of stuff it's all there it's all there it's all there so here we are coming up onto the spacecrafts that you can get and you are actually going to see the Taken King ones I show off a bit and actually show off the new one that you can get in the raid the raid offers you a very, very, very badass looking ship that you guys are going to see in a second. And all of these collection systems work in the same way. All you have to do is earn it, and then it is archived. And if you don't want to take up your slots in your vault, let's say you have a Monte Carlo, but you never use it, you just like collecting, <clears throat> excuse me, you like collecting the items, then you can just dismantle it because you never use it, but you can always get it back if you would like in full proper condition. Uh, in, it's actually a year two weapon as well, so you can even get it in a higher condition uh, when you dismantle the year one one. And here are the sparrows as well. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like, comment, subscribe, all that good, good stuff as always. Make sure you all have a wonderful day.